Hi guys and welcome to this lesson on the accounting equation map. Now most of you know the formula for the accounting equation that is assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. But now we need to break this down further. We need to know when an asset increases or when an asset decreases what will happen to it? On which side will we put it? On the debit side or on the credit side? Well, when an asset increases, we will put that on the debit side. And when it decreases, we will put it on the credit side. And when a liability increases, we will post it to the credit side. And then when a liability decreases, we'll post it to the debit side. Now, can you see here? The assets and the liabilities act as exact opposites. The one increase on the debit side and the other increases on the credit side. So just keep that in mind. Most students don't have a trouble with these two. It's this one they have a problem with. Now, owner's equity is divided into two parts. We can call it inflows and outflows. Now your inflows make up capital and income and your outflows make up drawings and expenses. Now when your inflows increase I'm running out of space here. You'll post it to the credit side. And when your inflows decrease, you'll post it to the debit side. And then you'll apply just the opposite to your outflows. When your outflows increase, you'll post it to the debit side. And when your outflows decrease, you'll post it to the credit side. Well, you can say, well, everyone knows that. Well, this can get tricky especially when you're doing adjustments so please study the accounting equation map especially when doing adjustments because if you can identify what item you're working with and where it should come how it should increase and where it should come when it should decrease then this will help you a great deal for more on the accounting equation map you can download it on my website the link will be down below again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time